Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Today we're going to use some art in the classroom to play a game that I call Sketch Artists. You can play this game at any level, really. The merit of this game is that oftentimes in standardized English tests, at least in Taiwan, students will be presented with a picture or a set of pictures and they need to write about what they see or what's happening there. So it's nice to start them at a very young age uh, thinking in terms of, I'm looking at something, can I use English to describe that thing? So how you play the game is that you'll have one person, usually if it's the first time we're playing this game, that one person will be me, but that one person will be looking at a photograph of something. And that person is going to describe what he or she sees to the rest of the students. Now the rest of the students have a piece of paper and at least a pencil. If they have colored markers or colored pencils, that would be great. But the person describing is going to say what he or she sees, and the rest of the students, each, will be drawing a picture. So let's try one. This is one that I've used in the past. Um, how it would work is, and this might be my example. Okay, I'm looking at a picture. There are four animals in the picture. On the far left, there is an orange cat. So let's draw that. An orange cat on the far left, okay. So I'll just do this real quick, wink wink. And how does a cat sit like this? I guess, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, like this, okay. And then beside the cat, there is a sheep. There's a white sheep. Okay, let's see, a white sheep. So in the real game, the person describing what they're seeing is not drawing the picture. I'm just doing it now to give you a sense of both what the describer is saying and how the children play. Okay, next to the sheep, there is a pig. There's a pig. Okay, let's draw a pig, boink, boink. <laughs> okay, and you can be the one to determine how much time is spent during this exercise. Okay, next to the pig, there's a rabbit, and those are the four animals, so this is a little bit not fair. I know what I'm drawing, and the kids wouldn't, um, but this is a far from perfect rendition of what you're about to see. A rabbit, maybe cottontail, okay and the legs. Okay. Oh, also there is a sun at the top right. There's a sun in the sky, so... Uh, and they're all on grass. They're all standing on the green grass. Okay. At the end of the time of describing, you'll give the students a few more seconds to finish up their drawing. And then what I like to do, for the very little children, we'll look at them all and I'll tell them, wow, you did a great job, and I'll give them each a point. And for the older students, who also enjoy this, we will share our work with each other. They'll take a look and they'll vote for which one is the closest uh, reproduction of what the actual image is. And that student or students would get a point for their team. If you do this quickly, you're able to do it a couple of times in class, so you would need to prepare a few pictures. But, okay, here's mine. What is the real picture that I was trying to describe? Let's take a look. Okay, surprise! It was Peppa Pig. That probably would have been useful information for me to lead off with as the describer. We're drawing Peppa Pig and her friends. And you might, if you use similar pictures in your class, you might find that students have some, they know what this is, they'll tell them, and that's fine. If you want pictures that the students have never seen before, I will, why don't we do this? I have drawn some pictures over the years for students, and I'll show them to you now. You can screenshot them and use them in your class. So here, take a look at these four pictures. If they're useful, go ahead, you have my permission to use them. Anyway, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.